You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Now let's talk about factoring. Um, factoring is just dividing a number by another number. So for example, two and three are both factors of the number six. You can divide six by each of those numbers. On the exam, there's a number of ways you might be asked to factor. One of those ways is they might ask you to find the prime factor of a number, or they might ask you how would a certain number be expressed as a product of its prime factors. For example, here we see the number 504. Um, how might 504 be expressed as a product of its prime factors? Um, when you're looking for prime factors, a great technique is to use a factor tree, and that's what we see illustrated in the slide here. Um, you can start by dividing 504 by any number that you know it's divisible by. You can see it's an even number, so you can try starting with 2. You divide it by 2, and you get 252. Then you look at 2 and you say, I can't divide that number any further, um, but 252 I could. So you could further factor 252. So again, it's even, so you divide it by 2. When you divide it by 2, you get 126. You see that 126 can still be divided by something. You try 2 again, you get 63. Um, 63 can still be factored, so you factor that by dividing it by something you know it's divisible by. Let's say 7, and you get 9. 7 can't be divided any further because it's prime. It can only be evenly divided by 1 in itself. Anything else is going to give you a decimal remainder. But 9 could be factored into 3 and 3. So when you get to the bottom of the tree, um, what's at the end of those branches, so to speak, are the prime factors. That's why we call it a factor tree. If you were going to express this number then as a product of its prime factors, you see that you have three twos, you have two threes, and you have one seven. So they might write it this way. Two to the third power times three to the second power times seven. So look for the number to be written in this way in the answer selections on the test. Um, this is an example of how you can use a, a factor tree to find prime factors. Sometimes you might also be asked to find common factors. Um, for example, if you have an area that you're trying to fill with square tiles and they ask what's the largest size tile or what are some different sizes of tiles that you could use to fill in this area. Anytime you're trying to fit squares into a rectangular space, you're most often looking for common factors. In that case, it would be the common factor of each of those dimensions of that rectangular space. Um, so when you're looking for common factors, you're looking for a number by which both of these two numbers are evenly divisible. They have to both be divisible by the number. You can test the factors by using division. Um, don't rely on a factor tree if you're looking for common factors um, because you might leave out some of the common factors. Factor trees are great for prime factors, but if you're looking for common factors, you want to try simply dividing both of the numbers by different numbers to see which they're both evenly divisible by. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, Visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.